This is the Atari 7800 Pro System and a whole bunch of Atari related stuff. People always ask me what kind of Atari to get. I usually tell them go for the 7800 because it plays Atari 7800 games and it's backwards compatible with Atari 2600 games like Sword Quest Waterworld, Defender, and Maze Craze. Also, there's a whole lot of great 7800 titles like Choplifter, Pole Position 2, Ball Blazer, Desert Falcon. Back in the day when most of my friends were getting Nintendos in 1985 and 1986, I had the opportunity to ask for a new game system. I chose the Atari 7800 because I loved the Atari 2600. And then I realized quickly that it may have been a mistake considering there were thousands more games that came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System, but I still played my Atari for weeks on end. I loved it, I loved the game selection, tons of arcade titles, and you know, I don't regret it at all because this is my original Atari 7800. It still works more than 22 years later. How many modern game systems will still be working in 22 years? Now I've done some tongue-in-cheek reviews where I compared the Atari 7800 to the PlayStation 3. Obviously that's apples and oranges, but the 7800 has an excellent game library. It's nowhere near as large as what you'll find with the Nintendo Entertainment System or Sega Genesis, and it's even smaller than the ColecoVision library. But there's some pretty cool games in there. They look nice, they sound pretty good. And then when you, when you take into account that you get that backwards compatibility with the Atari 2600, you have thousands of games that you can play. Now some of the later Atari 7800 games were getting a little, a little cheap, and uh, especially compared to their competition, but uh, sadly the 7800 did not have a long lifespan. And you can tell looking at some literature that came with it, they were cost cutting. You're not really even getting expensive manuals or full color photographs or anything. The Atari 7800 Pro System was originally scheduled to be released in 1984, but due to the horrific video game crash back in the day, that was canceled. And after the success of the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1985, they decided to release the Atari 7800 in 1986. And sadly, it never really caught on. The manual shows you how to insert a game cartridge. That's very nice of them. Here's those god-awful controllers. I hate them. The Atari 7800 controllers are terrible. They're some of the worst controllers ever made. Fortunately, you can also use a Sega Genesis controller for many of the games. And standard Atari 2600 controllers work with this thing, as well as the paddle controllers and driving controllers. And you can also go out there and hunt down a European Atari 7800 controller, which is what this is, which is a lot better than that piece of junk. If we look closely here, check this one out. Maintaining your Atari 7800 Pro System. Your Atari 7800 Pro System will bring you many years of enjoyment. To keep it in good working condition, please remember the following. And I followed all of these rules, and my Atari 7800 Pro System still works. Most of the Atari 7800 games that I've seen at least come in these nice looking silver boxes with full color artwork. And I have a bunch of these on the shelf. They look great. I actually really like these boxes. Many of the game cartridges did not have full color, but just came with silver labels and black text or black images on silver. Some of them had full color imagery. Seems like the later games were coming out with more of a full color design. I found this inside the packaging of my Donkey Kong Jr. cartridge. And Atari 7800 games are easy to collect today. Places like eBay, they're affordable because they're not really in high demand. So you can find games like Donkey Kong Jr. out there for a pretty good price. Let's unfold this thing. It's a giant poster. Don't want to tear it. Come on, Mario. Can you believe that there's Nintendo stuff on an Atari poster? The Atari Advantage. No relation to the NES Advantage. There we have a very bizarre looking hockey player. There is an Atari, it looks like a 2600 Junior actually with a 2600 controller. There we have a uh, Atari computer. There's the Atari 7800 with the European gamepad controller. 
If I, had if I had seen this when I was a kid, I'd have been pissed that I didn't get that thing. Like the race car, collect games and win prizes. Here's we have Bentley Bear from Crystal Castles. There's the Sphinx from Desert Falcon. Centipede. That's the most god-awful joust drawing I've ever seen. Well, you get the idea. I think they had some 12-year-olds draw this to save money. Let's look on the back. Now look, it's a little catalog showing you what Atari games were available back in the day. Crossbow, I don't think I've ever played that one actually. Centipede, Dig Dug. Good stuff in there. The Atari 7800 had some real gems like Ball Blazer for instance. Silly title, excellent game. Let's get down to the bottom. This system is the choice of the experts. Okay, all right, check this out. It says that when you collect five game cartridges, you can get a free Atari t-shirt. Well, I've easily got enough games to get several t-shirts, so I'll be mailing this coupon in and collecting my shirts. I hope that still works. And enter myself into the Atari Advantage trip to California. And there we have the 7800 XE system and XE disk drive. I've never seen the light gun for that, huh? I wonder what part of California they send you to. At the bottom of the ocean. The Atari 7800 is nicely laid out. It's a good looking game console, fairly sizable, but you get the feeling that it's mostly plastic. It doesn't weigh very much. There's your power button. It has a pause button. Game select and reset. If we take a look at the back of the unit, you can see that that's where the power cord goes. And when you buy an Atari 7800, make sure that it comes with the power cord because that's a, a very unique power cord. Those are kind of hard to come by if you happen to lose one. There's your channel select, and that's the video and audio output. You would hook this up the same way that you'd hook up an Atari 2600. If you look underneath, you get some uh, information down there. Made in Taiwan, serial number, all very exciting. There's the bottom of the Atari 7800 with some feet, some rubberized feet to give it traction. And you know, this may not be nearly as popular these days as the Nintendo Entertainment System. Certainly does not have the hardcore following of the Sega Genesis, but the Atari 7800 is a good game console. It plays a huge library of Atari 2600 games. There's some really unique Atari 7800 games out there that you can have fun with. They're readily available, they're easy to buy because they don't cost all that much. eBay is a terrific place to hunt down Atari 7800s and uh, accessories. And you know what, if you like Atari games and you just want another game console because they're cool to have, pick one of these guys up. Just make sure you buy one that works, that's been tested, and uh, it should give you years of entertainment. And if you don't believe me, believe the marketing from Atari. This system is the choice of the experts. The Atari 7800 system offers you an extensive library of games at a price half that of the competition. And uh, you can win a trip to California. I wonder who won that trip to California. I wonder if that contest ever actually ended. <laughs>